Okay, today we're going to disassemble the governor and we're going to get the spring out. So, in order to do that, you need a flathead screwdriver. You're going to take this bracket off first because when you take this bracket off, it'll take the tensioner here, which will put which puts tension on to the uh, governor balls and that as I said in the previous video spreads them out so when they're spread out it'll slow the machine down when they're in it's gonna go fast so here we go. We're going to take this off first. This one was pretty loose. I did put WD-40 on it and let it soak um, overnight. And then I ran out of WD-40 and I used some blaster. So, this is good and, good and soaked. All right, here we go. That's off. Now I'll put the bolts in here so we don't lose them. Now on to this. Now inside is the spring. Now as we can look just by looking at it, this right here is casting. This was machined. So, how it comes off is, as I read about, you first take a screwdriver, you put it on the tooth, that jams it, like so, and then you twist, you twist it off, like so. Now these are right-handed threads. So lefty loosey, righty tidy. Reason why they're right in the threads is because while this is spinning in the the machine, it's going clockwise. So that means it's always gonna be tension on it. That spring does not look that bad. Let's take this off here. <clears throat> there we go. And that don't look that bad. A little dirty, but not that bad. I don't see no wear marks or nothing. Actually, it doesn't get uh, any oil in there at all. There's a, a small film on it. So what probably happens is because this is a open crank uh, mechanism, it probably just keeps, it probably gets splashed on the gear side. And when it's getting splashed, on the gear side, just give it enough enough oil on it to keep this shaft lubricated. Kind of don't like that design, but you know, I wasn't around when this thing was invented, so I had no say. Let's see why it's doing this. Okay, this one's gummy but it is free oh 
This one works great. This one does not. So I think I found my culprit. Yeah. So I'm gonna soak these down and tomorrow um, see if it frees it up or not. But as you, you can see, there's a lot of grease. Not a tremendous amount, but there's, there's a good amount that's built up around this. So soak them down and tomorrow we'll see what happens. We'll assemble it. Spring don't look bad at all. Pin don't look bad. Pusher pin. The reason why it's called pusher pin is because right here is where this part sorry I got upside down. Yeah. If you look in there that tab right there that part is what pushes. Oh wait, maybe one of these are broke. Hold on. Let's look and see. No. No, it's not broke. Hey, broke. Okay. So this is dirty. This is dirty. So I'm gonna clean that up. And as I was saying. The pusher pin pushes on to the from the weights. When it does that, it'll either activate the gear to slow down or to speed up. and makes the motor slow down or speed up one or the other but these these three pieces are vital to your motor if you don't have them you're pretty much you know running it falls out and you're gonna just wear it out and damage it and that'll be it we'll be done but let's clean these up um and I'll see you tomorrow for the assemble. Lee. For the assembly of this. Alright. See you guys later.